Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, we talked about the Marvel solicitations. Let's do DC, and uh, and then we're going to try something new. We're going to do some solicitations for some of the uh, small indie companies as well. They definitely deserve some love. Anyway, um, including over 170 plus images. Oh, threaten me with a good time, why don't you? All right, this is a nice cover. I do like kind of the iconic uh, aspect of it. But anyway, they say we'll keep it short and sweet. Uh, <laughs> I, I I do not believe you, sir. All right. Uh, Dawn of DC, free comic book special edition. All right, this is a year-long publishing initiative, epic storylines featuring a lot of these these folks. So, all right. Um, where, you know, okay, so not for nothing. I understand we want to focus on some other members of the Marvel family, but why can't they need to go all the way with Mary Marvel? They do, they do some, and they're doing some stuff in the book right now. But then, like a couple months later, they pull back. They they just always pull back uh, from Mary Marvel. And there's actually a decent fan base. People like that character. Uh, you you should you, you gotta you gotta cross the finish line with one before you keep hopping to other members of that family. Anyway, Green Arrow number one. This is a six-issue limited series. Josh Williamson spinning out of Dark Crisis. Uh, the Emerald Archer is lost, and they're going to find him. Here's uh, Frank Cho, who maybe maybe they don't hate him at DC anymore. I don't know. They didn't they never hate him at DC, but uh, a lot of the people who are really trying to get him run out of DC now apparently are gone. Anyway, we're going to go look for Green Arrow. Uh, super, they ought, they ought to put an air tag on him. They, they they should do this all superheroes that way they they don't uh, you know they won't lose them then you get some of that apple money uh, Superboy the Man of Tomorrow uh, number one of six Connor Kent taking center stage so a Connor Kent uh, limited series where he's apparently just gonna stand on top of a jet and freak the hell out of pilots while Superman just looks on like a dope uh, anyway this is uh, uh, heading to the stars so he can carve out his own path uh, Adventures of Superman number uh john kent number two i carve his own path i mean the only solution is to make him trans i'm just just saying that's the only that's the only possible solution here adventures superman john kent number two by tom taylor uh this is a six issue limited series uh not an ongoing as some people have said and john kent's finally going to go back there and kick ultraman's ass so Sounds good. Superman number three. This is Josh Williamson, and uh, Superman's loved ones are transformed into parasites. Well, I mean, you could argue that uh, as the most powerful man on the planet, uh, any woman being married to him is just taking advantage of his... No, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's just raw meat for some of, uh, some of my audience here. Um, anyway, that's... Uh, but on the bright side, look what she could do with all those hands. Yeah, so don't, so don't you know don't 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 knock it yet, Superman. There's there's some there's some benefits here you're not thinking about. Action Comics 1054, uh, Philip Kennedy Johnson. Uh, this is uh, the Metallo story is still going on. Well, oh, that's a great cover too. Very very nice and and simple. I like that. I like how they even got some little uh, ridges along the seam there. That's that's nice. Uh, Harley Quinn, number 29, uh, Teeny Howard. Um, your girl's been cursed. And now she's got to use magic and travel. A mold. You don't use magic. You can get pregnant. You have, this is the culprit. We all thought it was City of Bruce. It's her. It's Zatanna. She's impregnating everyone in Gotham. It's, uh, it's a bad, bad thing for you. Thank God. It looks like they're copying the Bratz doll story. All right. I don't know. I'm going to move on. Unstoppable Doom Patrol number two, Dennis Culver, uh, Chris Burnham. Okay, I'm going to try Doom Patrol again. If that sounds fine. I know. Let's make a team that uh, barely resembles a TV show. That sounds like a good idea. Batman number one. Well, it's probably, I mean, this has to be its last season, I would think. Uh, Batman 134, Chip Zdarsky, uh, Red Mask, and a Gotham City full of bodies. They're all pregnant from Zatanna. Anyway, how much is uh, is is Batman prepared to sacrifice? I don't know. Is he still in the alternate reality uh, Batman? I... Detective Comics 1071, Rom V. Not a lot of people talking about this run. It's not bad. If you read it, it's, it's actually some pretty different stuff going on. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Snyder's Black Mirror, and it was just tonally very different. But, uh, but, but very little buzz. Like, almost none. All right, the penultimate issue of Batman and Joker, Deadly Duo number six, Mark Silvestri. Uh, here we go. So somebody's going to get married to a Hot Topic model. And uh, Riddler, Year One, number four by Paul Dano. Two more issues left on this. He's thinking. Uh, Lazarus Planet, Revenge of the Gods. G. Willow Wilson, Becky Cloonan, Michael Conrad. Oh, my God. Now they've Cloonan and Conrad have pulled Wilson into their, uh, their, their, 
or couple. Anyway, uh, three of four. So this is is one one responsible for the destruction of the gods. I mean, maybe and he's been he's been juicing. All right, Got a lot lot happening there. Lazarus planet revenge the gods number four. Okay, let's get this one out too. Wherever organs gone, where where have the organs gone? Well, they've gone up here. They're all living in here. In the pecs. Anyway, so we got that. Uh, Superman Lost, number two, by Christopher Priest. This is a, a nice car. He's, he's very sad. He's thinking... <laughs> he's, he's like, God damn it, can you pick a direction, DC? That's what he's thinking. Uh, DC Speechless, number one. All right, six short stories where uh, nobody's talking, I'm assuming. Entirely silent comic. And she's perky. Um, I Icon versus Hardware, number three. Okay, she getting bullied in school. I mean, the solution is to just uh, you know blow everything up. No, that's not the solution. That's a, don't don't give me any list here. Static Shadows of Dakota number three. Uh, this is uh, I think the one title V that's kind of co-writing, uh, but it was done for a while. The recent this 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 has been in the bank for a long time. It's unclear how much of Vita's script is actually uh, even going on. Um, I say this from the standpoint of uh, I still get mail. I got a mail just yesterday. Like, why does Vita get so much work? Hey, there's no comics. <laughs> there's, a, there's a, if you, if you want, what are we asking? Are we answering the question for the past at this point? But anyway, uh, they're fighting Bang Babies, which, uh, you know, I'll let you make the joke. Uh, Sandman Universe Nightmare Country, The Dark House by James Tinian. Okay, there we have it. This is one of six. Uh, James Tinian uh, kind of reuniting with uh, DC. Uh, Dark Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, this is what, a trade paperback? Sure. Tales from the Dark Crisis, uh, another trade. I mean, I'm sorry, but, but people are not going to buy this. Uh, this title, you know, fell hard in the sales. Uh, World uh, Justice League, uh, Dark Crisis, Young Justice. Oh, yeah, run out and buy this one. <laughs> this was this was an awful, awful series uh, that just, it's like, uh, let me see how I can, uh, can wreck uh, the writing of an omnibus we're still trying to sell uh, that was done uh, by Peter David. And then let's also uh, do character assassination. <laughs> but sure, why not? Uh, one Bad Day, Two-Face. Okay, this is uh, what this is being reprinted. What's what's going on here? This this book's already come out. So what are we what are we doing? Uh, all right, go. Oh, it's collecting Two Face and no, it's just collecting Two Face. I have no idea what's what's uh, going on with this. So it's a hard it's a hard cover. Okay, they're putting out a hard cover. Thank you. It's not it's collecting the one issue. It's not really collecting. All right, so there are a bunch of hard covers here. Here's the Penguin. Here's the. Uh, no, this is a Poison Ivy trade. Here's a Nightwing trade. Let's get through. Okay, through the trades, trade, trades. Spent. Here's again. Here's Mary Marvel, the new champion of Shazam. You know, good idea, but you gotta you gotta go a little longer. You did you did four issues. If you wanna if you wanna make Mary Marvel a thing, you gotta you gotta put a little bit more into it. All right, Absolute Preacher, Volume One. That looks like fun. Uh, Preacher still remains an awesome series. The Shazam series, more, more sh we're, we're, oh, the Shazam movie's coming out. Okay, that's that's what's going on here. All right, uh, oh, we're collecting Historia. Is that what's going on? Okay, this people kept saying how much they loved this. It felt like somebody lost a bet and had to praise Kelly Sue DeConnick, but uh, this this was not good. The art was the art was nice. The the comic, <laughs> Jesus, it's painful. Um, this is collecting Beyond the White Knight. Very nice. Okay. Let's see how this one wraps up. Can't say much about that at the moment. A DC Pride, the new generation. Okay. Watch this collecting uh, the Urban Legends stories where Tim Drake came out, the Tim Drake special, the uh, Finding Batman by Kevin Conroy, uh, more stories, gorgeous hardcovers. Okay. It's it. We're coming up on Pride Month, so we got to get these things on the shelves and make that Pride money. Here's Gotham Academy. Somebody dug up uh, this one and said they could make some money off that. Maybe they're trying to get that uh, Harry Potter uh, uh, video game sale. So they're, they're I, I don't know. Teen Titans Go. All right. So about some box sets. Oh, that's a cool box set. I like that. All right. Girls Taking Over, a Lois Lane uh, free comic book day edition. Sounds like fun. Okay, this is for their YA uh, line. Here's a uh, Clark and Lex. There's their uh, a young Superman graphic novel. They're having a good time. Here's okay, Clark and Lex. Okay, back to actual comics again. Batgirls number seventeen. Uh, here's Barbara Gordon and uh, the Batgirls. All three of these need to watch out for Zatanna. I'm just 
just she could be lurking around any corner ready to make you pregnant. Batman Incorporated number seven, uh, Ed Brisson, uh, Professor Pig in here. So as we're, we're flushing out the Bat family, sales for the Bat books are dropping. That's a, another video here, but World's Finest number 14. Okay. This, this continues to have been a, a really uh, great comic, uh, this uh, this World's Finest. I think Mark Wade has come back and actually done a really solid job of putting some good stories out. It is a shame that uh, that he was one of the core people bullying Jason Pearson to his death, but uh, I do, it's, it's, it's a nice comic. So Anyway, Batman the Adventures, uh, season three, number four. All right. Oh, we got Trump. No, that's good. What, what is this? The straight man continues to crack up. Uh, okay, Batman tangles the mysterious foe. All right. That's that, that's meant to be Trump, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Black Adam number 10, Christopher Priest. Okay. This is uh, this is Black Adam is given a chance to head for the light. What does it take to see it? Uh, a box here and ready to brawl. Okay, cool. Um, you could... Uh, you know, I'm not going to stop with the Mary Marvel stuff. Anyway, Blue, Blue Beetle Graduation Day number six, Joshua Julio. Okay, this is the uh, comic that didn't win the round robin, but got a series anyway. Uh, Catwoman number 54, uh, Teeny Howard. It looks like she's, it looks like she's got bought a Asian restaurant uh, by the look of things. Okay, Danger Street number five of 12. Okay, The Mysteries of the Multiverse, Lady Cops on the Case. Okay. DC Ruby number three. The technically is a DC Ruby number three, volume two, right? I think. Anyway. All right. The crossover continues. Deceased War of the Undead Gods number eight. This is the concluding issue of Zombie Town. Uh, and so what's what's going to happen here? I think uh, Trevor Hairsign has basically made himself a bit of a star. So go go and uh, you know time to go make some money. You're, you're, you've got a Mark Silvestri kind of look going on. There's some so some good stuff in there. Anyway, uh, some some pretty nice uh, stuff. This one's by Howard Porter, by the way. Sorry, just to just to be clear, uh, but uh, some some nice comics. Okay, there we are. Justice Society of America, number five, Jeff Johns. Uh, I like Jeff Johns. I think his, his good stuff's going to Mad Ghost right now. Um, this is not, this series has been less, uh, I don't know, I, I've enjoyed it a lot less than, than some of the indie work he's doing, which is quite good at the moment. Multiversity Harley screws up the DCU. Uh, sure. I mean, why not? Oh, she's put soap on his feet. Nightwing, number 103. Uh, who is the grinning man? I don't know. Oh, we're, we're putting a spinner rack on the uh, <laughs> on the cover to just really rub it in that uh, we've absolutely fucked comics by going all in on the direct market. And again, I say this as a retailer. I love the direct market, but uh, but going all in is a is a bad plan. No socks with the shoes. All right, all right. Uh, Poison Ivy number eleven. Uh, this is I think this is coming to a close, but maybe I'm wrong here. I, th I heard it was they're going to wrap it up soon. Anyway. Um, Poison Ivy goes and uh, sells care care products and flirts with people. I don't know. Scooby Doo, where are you? Not in Velma. Um, Starf Girl, the Lost Children. Okay, but number six. This is the conclusion issue of this, and she's got to she's got to have a burger because you know uh, Batman and Scooby Doo mysteries. Here they're looking for who made that. Uh, who made? That? <laughs> I'm not gonna make a Velma joke, but this is like. This is clearly the crowd who's uh, wanting to murder them for, for <laughs> like, oh shit. Anyway, uh, The Flash, 796. Uh, this is uh, the final moments of the one minute war. The Flash family is on the edge of feet. Getting a lot of flashes. We've, uh, you know, sun's out, guns out, and we're going to see what's going to happen here. Flash number 797. Um, it's a super speed misadventure on babysitting. Okay, we've gone from the one minute war to. Uh, to, uh, to sleep over, gone awry. Uh, the Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number seven. Okay. And uh, this will have a backup uh, issue in it where uh, it's got to be something about the Joker getting an abortion at this point. Uh, but, but you know, that's, 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 the, that's where they have to go now. Dead Boy Detectives, number five. All right, I, I, I've, I've enjoyed what I've seen here, actually. I think this has been a pretty, pretty solid little kind of, you know, think of the thing in the background for DC. Tim Drake, Robin number eight, Megan Fitzmartin. Uh, this book is, is doing terrible in sales, so uh, we'll see what happens. But here they, uh, they just kind of hang out. Um, 
Okay. Together, Robin and Batwoman will help each other die trying. Man, Batwoman's looking very strange these days, but I don't know. I, I, you guys keep saying Rosmo does weird versions of characters, so I, I, I got to say you're right. Wildcats, number six. Uh, with the Wildcats out of commission and the death of a teammate, replacement fights themselves fighting for their lives against the Court of Owls. Wonder Woman uh, 798 by the Conrad, Clunan, and now Campbell uh, combo. Uh, this is uh, Bring on the Thunder. This is a Lazarus Planet uh, tie-in. This this metal, uh, the metal here, the metal, uh, you know, upper bra symbol is, you know, when, when struck by lightning, it's just going to fry all these, these parts. It's not going to be good. Batman Fortress. Okay. Uh, Urban Legends, Volume 5. Static season one. These are more trades here. Steel. I think we're we're at an end. Anyway, that is it for DC. Oh, we got another. Uh, they're reprinting another V for Vendetta. So Alan Moore, be proud. Anyway, what are you buying from DC? Let me know in the comments below. Fewer comics this time than usual. Again, there may be some background behind some of this. Thanks for listening. <laughs>